everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new, I'm Anna Mae and I make videos every Tuesday. And today, this video is going to kind of be about like, I don't know what I'm going to name it, but it's kind of the things that I've picked up for my mission trip in June, which isn't really a mission trip because it's not, I have a whole video about it that I will link, I think it's here. Um, but it is it's just different if you're not going to watch that video. It's just different because we are not like, we're not there to evangelize. We're there just to provide care and it's in a Christ, with a Christian organization. So this is like the, it's not like my, what I'm packing, but it's like the things that I've picked up that I didn't really have beforehand. And I just thought it would be interesting for you to watch. So let's just hop right in. The number one concern that I had with this, well, not the number one concern, but as far as packing was, number one, I'm gonna have to get a large hiking backpack, but I'm going to borrow one from my neighbors because their dad went to the um, Arctic, so I'll borrow one of theirs. They have like a women's one and everything, so that's a great way. Ask around if you have to have like a hiking backpack. That's where all of my stuff's gonna be in for the two weeks is a hiking backpack. So I'm borrowing one of those, thankfully. We haven't had to buy one. I will be buying, first thing then, I will be buying, is a um, small day pack, preferably like a crossbody one, like a small little backpack thing. And I'm just gonna get a cheap one off Amazon. Maybe I'll insert a photo here of the type I'm looking for. But that's just to hold the few essentials that I need during the day. And yeah, I don't want to be bringing like my North Face or anything. I want that little backpack to be able to fit within my other hiking backpack. So back to my original like first concern was that I understand that I would need to dress more modestly and even though I've been raised a Catholic and I went to Catholic schools and I live in a predominantly Catholic country, um, which is shit by the moment, at the moment, if you have any knowledge of what's happening in Ireland at the moment in uh, March of 2017, but um, it's that I've actually was never really taught to dress modestly and that's not something I find personally very relevant to my faith. Um, I understand it, but it's just not something that really affects me. But I'm not gonna get into the modesty debate right now. But I did understand that, especially, it's also because working with children and also in China, the culture is different. People would prefer to dress more modestly. And for me, it's hard uh, because I have a big butt and big thighs. So I don't look modest even if I'm covered up sometimes, if that makes sense. Um, Cause you can definitely see my butt. So I managed to find a pair of pants. I was looking for like more loose fitting pants because shorts wouldn't even work because even though I'm very short, I have quite long legs and there's always like a lot of leg going on because <laughs> there's so much like thigh and it's just not modest. So I got these swaggy pants from Marks and Spencers and they're just like loose fitting and they're slightly cuffed at the end, but they're a 10 and they actually fit me. Like they're not super loose. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, I don't know what they're called. But um, you, if you were looking for something like this, you'd definitely be able to find them. They're like not super ugly and they aren't even super tight on me when I bend down. Like I'm someone who busts that out of my pants and shorts all the time. Um, but these are really comfortable, really lightweight. Like I know they're gonna roll up super easily and not crease. I think it's in like their holiday kind of stuff, but they were pricey enough. They were 40 euro. Yeah, so that was hard, but I did buy two pairs from Forever 21 and a skirt, and I had to send the skirt and the one pair of pants back because they just looked so awful on me because again, I'm short and wide. So these are fab, and I'm looking for more pairs of pants like this because I intend on wearing pants for the most part, um, especially looking after children, small children. Skirts aren't really practical, especially when you're trying to be modest. So long pants is the way I've decided to go. So that's the second thing that I'm kind of picking up for my trip are long, loose, more modest looking pants that aren't super ugly either. Because that would be a waste of money if I wasn't gonna buy them or I wasn't gonna wear them again. 
So shoe wise, I already have a pair of Chacos, which funny story, I got for like, how much I get it for? Like less than 30 euro on Amazon one time. I, I don't know, the shoes are usually like 120, but I managed to find them. They were, it was just one style in my size. They were selling them off. So I have those and I intend on bringing those, but I thought it was kind of dumb if I was not to bring a pair of closed toe shoes. Um, and I wanted ones that were lightweight and I didn't really have anything that at the moment that would really suit other than like runners, which again, wouldn't really work just because they're not that comfortable. Sometimes they are, but I was lucky enough that my aunt managed to find a pair of Toms, which I think are perfect because uh, number one, I've made in a video before about travel tips. Um, you should really wear closed toe shoes when you travel. Like I've broken that rule before and I've also broken nails before. Um, there's a lot of sharp edges on airplanes and airplanes are not very clean. My dad actually works in like airplanes and stuff, in aircraft leasing and um, he, he tells us, he's like, don't ever <laughs> wear open toe shoes on an airplane. Like they are cleaned, but the amount of people, it's like, you know, it's not the best. So thankfully my aunt was able to pick these up for 16 euro. Woohoo! Brand new. Um, they're in my size. I think she got them in TK Maxx, it seems by the sticker. But they're not the original sole. They're like these more rubberized soles. It's not the color I would have gone for either, but the fact that they were like half price is perfect. So close toe shoes, Tom's lightweight for travel and for slightly cooler days or days where I want close toe shoes. Another thing I like plan on buying, like the backpack, is um, I plan on getting like bar shampoo instead of regular shampoo because I don't know if I'll be checking in my bag and frankly I just think it would be easier travel wise and a lot lighter. So I know Lush do them um, and for body wash I already use the Dove Beauty Bar which I 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, so I'm going to be bringing those as far as like cosmetic things. Other than that, I'll probably just have like a few cosmetic things as well as like my face wash. Um, I have very bad skin. I used to have very, very bad skin. It doesn't look bad today. But um, I had very severe cystic acne for a while. So I'm kind of neurotic about my skincare. And then I don't think I'll be bringing much makeup because I frankly don't think it's necessary. And yeah, so that is it for the cosmetics kind of thing. I will be buying um, like bar shampoo and bar conditioner and I already have bar body wash and they will be able to be like dry, stored dry and I won't have to declare them as liquids and stuff like that when I'm going through security which makes things a lot easier and it also means I could probably leave them behind with a little waste when I leave. So the last thing that I'm going to kind of talk about um, that I've bought is this and this is actually a personal size planner and this is what I was going to, I was going to buy this anyways but the real driving force behind this was that I was going to use it as a travel wallet um, because I will be traveling alone and I just wanted a travel wallet in the first place. So I, I'll show you the inside. So this is the planner part, which I use as like a, a memory keeping planner. Follow my planner Instagram at anime plans. Um, I'll have it linked down below, but this, see if you can see there are pockets here and a zipper pocket and this here, right? And then there's a big pocket at the back for like slotting in your passport. So it also zips closed. So I actually got this then. I said, okay, it's on sale right now. I'm going to get this to use as a travel wallet because I will need one when traveling alone. Because I have traveled alone before, but not to, I've traveled to Singapore before. Singapore is very different to China and I'll be like with a group in China but I'll be like family wise I'll be totally alone once I get there so I thought a travel wallet was important. So I know this video is a bit all over the place but those are the things that I'm kind of picking up and buying in preparation for going on a mission trip. This is kind of a lead up also to what I'm packing which I will do closer to the time I'm going in mid-June so expect it around that time. Hopefully if you are preparing to go on a mission trip as well, this was a, a little bit of help to you. Like you know what to start picking up so that you're not in a crazy rush. 
because I know I'm like holding off on preparing everything until like I'm finished college but then I'll only have like three weeks so hopefully this is of some help to you because I haven't been able to find many videos about this kind of thing for first timers like myself who aren't going through their own church I also speaking of church did buy a new bible because I only had a small new testament from school because bible study is not something that was like in my life before so and I know I'll need one for the trip itself so I got the new international version because that was the version that I preferred when I researched them surprisingly hard to find in this country putting it out there a lot of cray catholic bibles but it's okay I got the new international we're fine um so I know this video is a bit strange it's not exactly categorized either I don't even know what I'm gonna call it but that's it for today Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing lots more videos like this. And if this video wasn't really of interest to you, you were just kind of curious, I do make other kinds of videos. I'm a dancer, so I'll be making a couple more dance videos. Um, I'll be making some style videos. And yeah, that's it. Travel. I've got some super cool travel plans as well during the summer. So that's it for today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.